Good morning, Tony Sycamore here. It is Sunday the 9th of May. Wishing happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. Let's take a look at the four key charts of interest for the week ahead. We're going to start with the S&P 500 on the daily chart. Now, the interesting aspect about this S&P 500 chart and for equities in general is the uptrend remains intact. In fact, the S&P has consolidated the break out of its six month trend channel with another good close on Friday. Obviously the jobs data was weaker than expected and that implies the Fed will stay dovish for longer than originally anticipated. Where we see the important levels now for the S&P 500 is on the downside, this 41.20 to 41.10 support zone. Providing the S&P holds above this support zone, there is further upside towards 4,300 for the S&P 500. Should we see a break below this support region we just mentioned, then allow for a retracement back towards this highs, these highs here, originally around 3960-ish, with scope towards 3900. So what we're saying here in a nutshell is allow the uptrend to continue until or providing we don't see a break back below 412010. Looking at gold, now we've got the move in gold that we've been looking for. The retracement from the 1798 double high held perfectly the support region coming in around 1760, 1755. And then into the end of last week, gold pushed above this double high at 1798. Now, for any subscribers, we suggested a long trade on a break of this 1800 era and also to add to that position if the close was confirmed above 1800. So in both instances, these played out and we are now sitting long gold at around $1,808 on average. We are looking to take profit up into this resistance area here, which is around $1,865. It would be lovely to think that gold will just push straight on through this trend channel. But as you can see, this trend channel has held for quite some time since August last year. And I would be very surprised if there wasn't sellers lurking up here waiting to take profits. We can always get a pullback, look to re-enter if that pullback occurs. And if it doesn't, we would look to go long or to reopen longs on a break above the trend channel resistance. Moving now to currencies, the Aussie US, like gold, broke above a double high. The double high in Aussie dollar was at 78.20. We held the retracement area beautifully, got down to this 76.75 low early last week, and it bounced out of there very nicely. Now, the way that I see the Aussie is this is potentially turning into a third wave higher if this break is confirmed in the early parts of this week. So what I'd be looking for is uh, to see at least over Monday, potentially Tuesday. Remember, we've got the Australian budget coming out on Tuesday. We've got quite a lot of data coming out in China on Tuesday as well. So if by uh, Wednesday we were holding above this 78.20 zone, I'd be looking to open up longs for a test of this 80.07 high here. Moving now to cryptocurrencies. This is the chart of Ethereum versus Bitcoin, and it's continuing to pulse higher. This is a weekly chart. Last week, it was up around 25%. You can see the basing pattern, which has captured the market's attention. And this chart's become very, very popular on Twitter. Now, whether you can actually validly make a good claim that this is chartable, there is only six years of price history in Ethereum. But nonetheless, you can see there is certainly a loss of downside momentum here. And now we've broken higher, got above this 46 area, and it looks pretty good for a push, probably up towards this high over here, which is around 0 0.085. That means we're looking for Ethereum to outperform Bitcoin, which fits with what we're seeing in the Bitcoin chart. The 65,000 high from the 14th of April started a correction. You can see there has been a nice five wave impulsive rally in Bitcoin. This is your one, two down here. Apologies for it being a little bit cramped, but we've got the three, four and the wave five, the diagonal wave five finished up here in April. This is viewed as the first part of a three wave correction, wave A. Wave B currently tracing out, could get up as high as 61,000, 62,000. But after that last, after that, uh, uh, 62,000, potentially up to 62,000, I'd be looking for a wave C lower down towards support coming from 43,000, this low here, and 42,000, this high here. Basing in this area here would be a good indication that the correction is complete and that the uptrend has resumed. So in a nutshell, I am looking for another leg lower in Bitcoin, looking for some basing in this area here before another push higher. 
Guys, that is all for this week. Thank you very much for listening to our videos. If you do like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Otherwise, keep an eye out for our trade ideas in our thrice weekly TechFX Traders reports. Thank you for listening and have a great Mother's Day again.